John with Charles here on day three of our trip to the Round Top Antique Show. If you didn't see the first two episodes, links are in the description below. Also, if you're liking this series, make sure to hit like and subscribe for more content like this. Today, we decided to spend the day in Round Top itself, and our first stop was actually a second visit to Blue Hills Antique Show to see some of the folks we hadn't seen before, like Jay Jacobson. Jay had some interesting pieces, including both new and old items uh, in his collection and quite a collection of silver actually. Yes, that's actually one of the reasons why I went back to the store because I bought a few of these pieces today and I met Jay yesterday and he was a very polite guy. Also went over to Lily and Kelly's to see Berto and Kevin, who we actually saw yesterday and we bought that giant vase from. We just had to take a second look at their shop. They had so much to see and so many items. We couldn't take it all in the little time that we had. Now, uh, Berto and Kevin actually don't have a physical shop. Uh, they do these shows like this uh, all, all over, and they also have an online auction. So if you want to visit them, want to find out where they are, the best bet is to follow them on social media. And we have a link in the description of their Instagram account. We just had to take a second look. And in fact, we ended up buying something. Yeah, we uh, found an entire set of Noritake, which is what you're looking at now. And we'll see that more of that at the end of the video. Next stop was Antique Round Top over in their new location in Round Top, Texas. A lot of interesting things here, unique pieces. Yes, and even some very old pieces. And this beautiful iron and walnut reclaimed table. Which I wish we could take home with us, but our vehicle's <laughs> not big enough. Yes. So many interesting, unique pieces. This wasn't the kind of place where you were going to find uh, lots of the same thing. Uh, we saw lots of unique elements where they took antique items and made them into something else. Um, let's see, the headlamps there, you see signage. It's just things that were, were very unique, and um, even though we didn't take home anything, it was such an interesting place to visit and I'd highly recommend it. Our next stop was over at The Venue in Round Top, Texas. Now this is another one of those compound kind of places where you've got lots of vendors all in one area, tents, buildings, lots to see here. Um, they was, also had food. They did have food there. there so so uh, while you're shopping, you can get something to eat. Lots of interesting pieces all over. Now, this is uh, from a couple of different shops. We have um, tea sets, and here's some cut to clear crystal, which we've shown before, um, but we had one particular seller had quite a bit of it, and as you can see, it's, it's uh, beautiful uh, cut to clear. And also this same store has an abundance of beautiful pillows, and the pillowcases are made from the lady who actually owns the shop, and uh, the covers are imported from Germany. So there's some of those pillows there that we saw a beautiful selection, huge collection. Then we stopped over at a vendor called Vintage Glass um, in, in the venue, and all this person had was glass. Uh, some crystal. Yeah, a few pieces of crystal. I think I found one Waterford bowl. Yes, but most of it was glass. But if you were looking for anything in glass, etched glass uh, or any type of, of glass, I, they had it. Yeah, pressed glass, depression glass, cut to clear, they had everything, even yes. the uranium glass. Yeah. And uh, also you'll see here in a minute, they even have one of the largest collections of candle wick. Yes, it was quite a bit to see. And everything that you're seeing here, these are all shots of different aisles. This is not the same one over and over again. That's just how much this one vendor had. Here's the, uh, the Candlewick. Candlewick. Yeah, that's huge collection. I haven't seen that much in one place uh, so far. Uh, so great vendor to visit. Then we went over to DNR International Antiques. And uh, this gentleman has been uh, doing this business for quite a while. He's been uh, in Paris for 23 years and then went to Wisconsin in 89. And he has some really old pieces here. Yes, I actually inquired about one piece, but then he showed me a piece that actually was from uh, the state where I grew up at in Mississippi. And uh, I did take one of those home and you will be seeing that at the end of the video. Yeah, so lots of really old pieces. This man, uh, Mr. Rotko, he really knew his stuff. He was very generous with us and explaining uh, where each piece, and he knew each piece individually, uh, which is really uh, quite, quite rare. Uh, here we are on the road. Wanted to show you this because this is what the traffic looks like during Antique Week. 
in the actual round top area. Stop and go traffic, and then on the sides of the roads, just tents everywhere, vendors set up. It's just nonstop vendors. Not everything is antiques, which is what we found out. Yes, I was actually surprised. They have a mix of anything you can possibly want. Yes, and as you can see, people everywhere, people walking down the streets because the parking is limited, so you, you pay to park and then you'll walk. Um, but then we ended up at this place called Market Hill, which is also in Round Top. Now this is an interesting place because it's not just antiques. They had some, but it's, it's also like more of an art decor yes. uh, kind of place. Uh, so a lot of interesting art pieces to see here. We didn't end up taking anything home from here. Um, but it was certainly very interesting and it, it's worth a look if you're in the area stopping over at um, Market Hill. So what finds did we haul back to the hotel today? Okay, so first on the list is from the D&R International Antiques, which is this Mississippi Valley Native American pottery. And I do have the pieces that goes in the bottom, I just have to put it in there. But it's a beautiful piece from the 5th century. Wow, oh, it's really old. And it's, it's quite, quite rare. It's, it's very Yes, rare. I've never seen one except in a museum. Right. Uh, second up is not an antique, but it is uh, this candle, which yesterday when we went into this gigantic building, uh, all, this is all you could smell. And it's the bourbon and apple from Fritz and Fern. And you could find that at the Whiskey Glitter Company. And unfortunately, this is not available to buy online. Uh, this lady only wholesales to distributors, but you can buy it from Whiskey and Glitter. And we'll go ahead and put that information in the description of the video as well. And next is the two silver servers that I bought from Jay Jacobson, which was in the video. And I just could not pass these pieces up. Luckily, they're similar, but they are from the same company. And next is the pieces that we got from Lily and Kelly, which, which is, is and Kevin. Yes. yes. And this set was over a hundred pieces, and we've been wanting to get a set of china, and these were right in the the style that we wanted. And what is this? This is the Norintaki? Yes, this is the Norintaki Mont Blanc. And over a hundred pieces that we picked up for $200? Yes, $200. And, yes, and they retail for how much? Uh, when I looked it up, the entire set was $1,000. So quite a haul. We did quite well today. If you want to see what we come up with tomorrow, we're going to be back in uh, uh, the Round Top area and we're also going to Warrington tomorrow, right? Yes. So we'll, we'll have some more interesting shops for you to see. Like and subscribe to this video and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you guys.